besides being two rappers who have already collaborated in their careers. Rick Ross and Diddy are two powerful men who know how to enjoy life. But have you ever wondered which of them has the most luxurious life? In this video, you'll see a heated battle between Rick Ross and Diddy. So, let's fight! Cars! Both singers are completely in love with beautiful vehicles, but which one has the most luxurious automobiles? Diddy, for example, has been spotted with the following cars. A Jeep Wrangler Unlimited for more extreme rides, a rugged 4x4 that costs about $35,000, a Cadillac Escalade, with which he was involved in a traffic accident. This car costs about $75,000. A Chevrolet Corvette, a collectible vehicle worth about $100,000. A Ferrari 360 Medina Spider, a luxury sports car that costs about $110,000. A stylish Ferrari F430 Spider capable of reaching a top speed of 193 miles per hour, which justifies its price of $217,000. An iconic Lamborghini Gallardo Spider, a high-performance sports car capable of accelerating from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 4.2 seconds. And the price of this machine reaches that of $300,000. And perhaps the most expensive car in the rapper's garage is his Rolls-Royce Phantom, one of the largest and most refined sedans in existence, being worth around $450,000. Rick Ross, on the other hand, seems to be completely passionate about vehicles, with him owning a huge fleet of luxury vehicles that include a $55,000 Tesla Model 3, a $60,000 Chevrolet Camaro ZL1, a $100,000 Ferrari 308 GTB, a $115,000 Hummer H1, a $130,000 Chevy Bel Air from 1955, a $160,000 Mercedes-Benz AMG G63, a $260,000 Ferrari 488 GTB, a $270,000 Ferrari 458 Spider, a $300,000 McLaren 720s, a $310,000 Ferrari 458 Speciale, a $330,000 Rolls-Royce Ghost, a $340,000 Rolls-Royce Wraith, a $370,000 Rolls-Royce Dawn, a $450,000 Lamborghini Aventador. And all of these cars are just a small fraction of his collection, so it's no wonder he has even created a page on his website listing his entire collection of classic vehicles. To give you an idea, it is estimated that Rick Ross owns a fleet with more than 100 cars, which surely must be worth a real fortune. Considering that Rick Ross has more vehicles in his garage, he wins this round. Score 1. Real Estate When it comes to investing in a good place to live, both rappers don't skimp on comfort. But who has the most expensive property? Rick Ross, for example, has a 54,000-square-foot palace located on a massive 235-acre plot of land in the town of Riverdale, Georgia. Nicknamed the Promised Land, the residence is certainly a material asset that Rick Ross is very proud of, as he doesn't skimp out on the posts on his social networks showing details of this mansion. Being always surrounded by numerous luxury cars, the facade of the house resembles a real palace of a lucky king. Throughout his large plot of land there are several ways for the rapper to have fun. He has, for example, a paddock for breeding strong horses and giving them have plenty of room to live a golf course to have fun with friends, a giant, comfortable movie theater, some artificial lakes that beautify and refresh the property, a giant pool considered the largest residential pool in the entire United States, with an impressive 350,000 gallons of water. It is also known that the property has a total of 109 rooms, and that they are extremely exquisite, with gold details in the chandeliers, walls, and beams. One room that draws a lot of attention is the entrance hall with two giant circular staircases and a very high ceiling that offers great amplitude to the place. And to take care of all this infrastructure, the rapper certainly has to cash out a pretty penny. Just to cut the grass and keep the lights on, he said he used to spend about $1 million a year. But if you think that the property only provides expenses for Rick Ross pocket, you are mistaken. It was once used as a set in the Eddie Murphy movie, Coming to America, serving as the Palace of Zamundan. 
and to rent it on that occasion, Ross says he pocketed $2,750,000. In addition, the rapper has already given interviews in his house, showing a little more of the interior decoration. And it is possible to note that he loves paintings and works of art. This property belonged to former boxer Evander Holyfield, until in 2014, Rick Ross bought the estate for a great price, paying at the time $5,800,000. But after the rapper made purchases of neighboring land and made major renovations to the residence, surely it must be worth much more today. Meanwhile, Diddy's most valuable property is his main mansion, set up as a European-style villa in the Holmby Hills neighborhood. In a video for Vogue's 73 Questions, Sean Combs showed off some of the luxurious rooms in his cleanly designed mansion, which is 17,000 square feet in size. The open layout venue integrates a bar, which on the day of the recording had a professional waiter to prepare drinks and serve them to the singer. Another place Diddy showed off in the video was a more private living space, which features a classical piano nearby, as well as a table with awards and trophies the rapper has won over the years of his career. The rapper's mansion even has other impressive amenities, as it was built under specifications by developer Niall Niami. There is, for example, a beautiful hall at the entrance, as well as several living rooms which, at the time of the records, had a more classical and formal style, but which seemed to have been redecorated when the rapper bought it. The place also has a game room and a wine cellar for drinks, next to a green wall kitchen, as well as having 11 luxurious bathrooms, a library with wooden bookshelves, and 8 cozy suites. Outside, the mansion's lot is 1.3 acres, featuring wooded gardens, a casual dining area, a tennis practice court, and a resort-style pool that features an underwater tunnel. According to media reports, Diddy bought this mansion in 2014, shelling out a whopping $39 million for it. So it's clear that Diddy wins this round. Score 1. Overspending. Both singers have more than enough money to buy whatever they want, but which one has the most extravagant spending? Rick Ross, for example, is always posting photos of his new acquisitions, such as personalized jewelry worth a fortune. The rapper, for example, had customized a key to be used as a pendant on the necklace, being made of gold and covered in diamonds, an item that cost to his pocket $25,000. Another accessory that was covered in diamonds was a basketball to celebrate the 75th anniversary of the Miami Heat team, which must have also cost a huge amount. Rick Ross is also always wearing beautiful jewelry on his hands and neck, such as thick gold chains and precious stones. One of his most exaggerated chains features a portrait pendant of Rick Ross himself, which has been appraised for around $1,500,000. Another accessory that can't be missing in the rapper's outfits are the watches. One of the simplest models he owns is a Rolex Daydate President made in yellow gold with diamond-studded dials and a green dial, an item that costs around $70,000. Another watch from Rick Ross collection is an Audemars Pichuet Royal Oak made of white gold, entirely decorated with diamond baguettes, quite an eye-catching jewel that is worth around $130,000. However, when it comes to the brand Richard Mill, the rapper has a special model of the Abu Dhabi collection, made of transparent material, with sapphire crystal and blue details, a watch that costs about $600,000. Raising the price even higher, he owns a Jacob & Co. Mystery Turbillion, an emblematic watch with diamond discs that rotate around the central axis and mark the hours in a very mysterious way, living up to its name. And to have such a jewel, you need to invest an impressive $1,350,000. From this same luxury brand, Rick Ross has shown on his social media one of the most expensive watches that exist in the market, the limited-edition billionaire Ashoka model made with more than 500 pieces of sapphire scattered all over the bracelet. No wonder that this precious watch is valued at an unbelievable $2 million. Diddy is not far behind. Some sources point to Combs having already surprised his son Justin on his 16th birthday with a Maybach 57, a luxury super vehicle, with it being quite rare on the second-hand car market. No wonder it costs around $360,000. For his mother, meanwhile, the rapper presented her on her 80th birthday with a Bentley Mulsanne that can cost around $300,000, plus a check for $1 million. Like most rappers, he also likes to show off by composing his looks with luxury jewelry and watches. He has even shown his vast collection of accessories that are worth a small fortune on his social networks.
some of the New Yorkers' watch models include a $38,000 Rolex Day Date 2, a $139,000 Audemars Pichuet Offshore Chandelier, a $190,000 Richard Mill RM11-03 McLaren, a $332,000 Beauvet Fleurier Amadeo 7-Day Skeleton Turbillion, a $450,000 Patek Philippe Nautilus, a $516,000 Beauvet Fleurier Turbillion Virtuoso 3, an extremely luxurious and rare Jacob & Company, Royal 5 Time Zone valued at an unbelievable $1 million, among many others. When it comes to jewelry, the rapper has shown that he has money to spare when he threw his $500,000 chain to the audience during his concert. Another episode of Diddy's absurd spending was on artwork. In 2018 he bought, for example, the pastimes painting by artist Carrie James Marshall for an unbelievable $21,100,000. Diddy also has his own aircraft. The model of the rapper's jet is the Gulfstream G550, one of the safest and best-performing air transports in the world, capable of reaching speeds close to the speed of sound. The interior of the jet is very comfortable and luxurious, and can hold up to 16 passengers depending on the configuration adopted. To get an idea of the price, it is estimated that Diddy's aircraft cost around $60 million. The rapper really has to be very rich to disperse all this money and to be able to afford the various expenses of the jet. Since Diddy spends the most money, he wins this round. Other Properties both hip-hop stars invest a lot of money in nice properties, but which one has the best real estate to live in? Rick Ross, for example, recently acquired a summer home in the residential landmark ranch estates in the city of Southwest Ranches, in the U.S. state of Florida. Beautiful landscaping adorns this 2.33-acre lot along the expansive entrance worthy of a palace. The facade is imposing and quite eye-catching. This 8,600-square-foot property is perfect for entertainment, with it having an indoor summer kitchen, a large comfortable movie theater, a massage room, a sophisticated bar with custom cabinetry, and a game room complete with a pool table. For someone with a passion for cars like Rick Ross, the property is ideal as it has a garage with space for up to nine cars. The main house has four bedrooms, 5.5 bathrooms. There is also a guest house with two bedrooms and one bathroom. The chef's kitchen is classic and refined, being integrated into the living room, which is illuminated by extremely luxurious chandeliers. Outside, the view is really stunning, typical of a luxury resort. The pool has an irregular shape, resembling a natural lagoon. A waterfall next to it further enhances the leisure time, with it having a hot tub and a slide for fun. The property was owned by NBA player Amari Stoudemire, until in 2021 Miami native Rick Ross bought the mansion for $3,500,000. But Diddy is not far behind in this dispute. He is speculated to own an apartment in nearby Miami Beach in the state of Florida, purchased in 2012 for $2.7 million. Another property he has in this very sought-after region is a mansion on Star Island Drive which is 13,700 square feet in size and situated on a one-acre lot. According to some sources, Diddy purchased the mansion in 2003 for $14,500,000. But that's not the rapper's only residence in that area, as in 2021, he bought the mansion next door. The two-story, Floridian-style property sits in front of the beach, being about 8,000 square feet and being located atop a 1.3-acre lot where Diddy can live in luxury in one of Florida's most coveted regions. The living room has a clean decor that brings more lightness to the area, turning itself into the ideal space for social gatherings, while the very spacious kitchen has large countertops and great white cabinets, besides integrating a breakfast area. There is also a formal dining area, 10 sophisticated bathrooms and an elegant piano room with large arched glass windows. In total there are six bedrooms, among which there are some suites. The master suite, for example, has a luxurious marble-clad bathroom and a modern walk-in closet. Outside, the lawns offer privileged views of the bay, integrating a charming private pier. There are also tropical and many palm trees throughout the grounds, as well as a resort-style pool with a separate spa to relax in, plus there are relaxing patios and a barbecue area. Diddy bought the mansion for $35 million, but the original listing was asking for the unbelievable sum of $40 million on the location. And because he has much more expensive properties, Diddy wins this round by far. 
point for him. Business As well as being successful singers, they also have other sources of income. But who stands out more in business? Diddy's business portfolio is controlled by Combs Enterprises, which manages all his companies. One of the arms of this company is his fashion brand Sean John, which has already been successful all over the world. Another sector that the rapper invests in is alcoholic drinks. In 2007, he signed a contract to help develop the Ciroc brand of vodka, earning 50% of the profits on the sales of the drink. Sean also owns half of the tequila brand De Leon and is one of the owners, alongside actor Mark Wahlberg, of the calorie-free drink company aimed at athletes called Aqua Hydrate. As if all these ventures weren't enough, Diddy has a large shareholding in the television network Revolt TV, which also produces movies. However, in 2019, Combs became a major investor in Play VS, a company that develops competitive video games for U.S. high schools. Rick Ross Meanwhile, his most famous company is the music label Maybach Music Group, which was founded by the rapper in 2008, and which has released hit albums by artists like Whale and Meek Mill. In the food business, the rapper currently owns more than 25 franchises of the American restaurant chain Wingstop, and also owns franchises of the drive through Checkers. To get an idea of values, his franchises raise his estimated monthly income some $585,000, according to Hot New Hip Hop. In addition, the rapper is a representative of not just one, but several brands of drinks. The biggest of them is Loup Belair, which produces champagnes for all tastes, with various flavors on the market. To give you an idea, the brand's Instagram has an impressive 600,000 plus followers and is a true bestseller in the United States. While he is definitely not the owner of Loup Belair, he is a spokesperson for the brand and certainly receives commission for selling the drinks. This is also the case with the Bamboo Rum Company and the Gin Brand McQueen and the Violet Fog. Another release from Rick Ross was Collins Avenue, in partnership with cannabis brand Cookies, a flavored snack inspired by the rapper's identity. He also invested $1 million in the startup JetDoc, a digital health platform that aims to connect users to a licensed healthcare professional quickly. Not to mention his long history of advertising campaigns for companies like Rap Snacks, Reebok Sportswear, Ciroc Spirits, and others. In all, Rick Ross has about 17 partnerships, which definitely makes him huge piles of money. As if all these sources of income weren't enough, William Leonard has already released three books, his autobiography, the memoir Hurricanes and the bestseller The Perfect Day to Boss Up. And for having more diversified businesses, Rick Ross wins this round. Point for him. Net worth. As two famous rappers, everyone knows that they are extremely wealthy, but which one has the biggest accumulated fortune? Having been in the media for quite a long while, the rapper is from a generation of artists who have made a lot of money from selling records, CDs, and DVDs. Since Rick has released 11 albums over the course of his career, he has certainly pocketed a pretty penny. In addition, his shows represent a good portion of his earnings. It is estimated that at the peak of his career, around 2014, the rapper charged an average of $200,000 to perform at an event, a fee that could be much higher depending on the size of the audience and duration. Adding up his artistic earnings, Forbes magazine estimated the rapper's earnings at $6 million in 2013, making him one of the highest paid artists of that year. However, in 2017, Rick Ross is estimated to have made something around the $11 million figure. But since he has numerous other businesses and ventures, with high caches and secret contracts, it may be that this figure is being underestimated. However, for being a guy who appears in the news for getting into trouble for past due tax payments, it is clear that there is a lack of financial control on Rick's part. And perhaps it is because of this, and also because of his very lavish lifestyle, that many portals estimate his net worth at a relatively small amount, in the region of $50 million. Meanwhile, as founder of the Bad Boy Entertainment record label, Diddy is making great financial gains. After all, he owns music rights to various artists and receives royalties. Not to mention that the company has been targeted by several groups interested in buying it, being valued at its peak at $100 million. But Sean didn't just limit himself to the music market, which contributed to the further growth of his wealth. With the successful sales of Sean John's clothing brand, he has gone on to make revenues of over $525 million annually. 
the brand was so successful that it even received an investor's contribution of around $100 million in 2003. Until in 2016, Diddy sold 90% of Sean John to Global Brands Group. The value of the deal was not disclosed, but the entrepreneur certainly pocketed a lot of money. Until he bought back his brand in 2021 from the bankrupt owner for $7,500,000. We also can't forget the contribution of the following brands to Combs Wealth, Vodka Ciroc, Tequila De Leon, Aquahydrate Drinks, and the Revolt TV Network. Taking into consideration Diddy's personal earnings for all his sources of income over time, it was reported in the media that he made about $28 million in 2007, $35 million in 2008, $90 million in 2022, and up to $130 million in 2017, becoming the highest paid musician of the year according to Forbes. With him making so much money for over three decades, in 2022 Sean Combs officially earned the title of billionaire, with an estimated net worth of $1 billion. Even such, he surpassed Kanye West's net worth and became second only to Jay-Z in the ranking of the richest names in hip-hop. In other words, Diddy easily wins this round. Point for him! At the end of this fight, we have two points for Rick Ross against four points for Diddy, who wins this battle. But if you think there are still other arguments to defend one of the two, write your best justification below. Hey, you like the video? So don't forget about leave your like and comment, and tell some suggestions of another videos, and hopefully we gonna do it. All about channel, deals to satisfy your curiosity.